Yeah, you read the title correctly. It looks like the latest rumors suggest that AMD is going to be cooking up something really big and it's coming out soon. So, all aboard on the hype train. Let's go. Choo choo! <laughs> In all seriousness though, uh, over the last couple days there have been a bunch of interesting leaks and revelations about upcoming AMD Threadripper CPUs and chipsets. The first one coming from Momomo who is a very well known CPU leaker and investigator. And he pointed out that the USB implementers forum leaked that the new AMD chipsets being X570, TRX40, WRX80, and TRX80. So current Threadripper chipset is the X399 and the assumption is that the new one would be something along the lines of X599. But it looks like we're gonna be going to the TRX and WRX and you got the three different versions. The next report comes from Tech Power Up, which basically takes the Momomo tweet and puts their own uh, conjectures on that. So they're basically saying that uh, since we know that the Threadripper chips are descendants of Rome server chips, and of course Rome server chips are up to 64 cores, have 8 channel DDR4 memory along with 128 PCIe Gen 4 lanes, um, you know, what can we expect from the Threadripper chips? So they created a table here and uh, as you can see, uh, the, they're saying that they think the TRX40 and TRX80 may be the HEDT parts, whereas the WRX, W being workstation, uh, WRX80 may be a workstation version. Of course, you know, this is complete speculation at this point. There has been no, uh, no announcements, but, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But it's kind of interesting because it, there is a method to this madness because the TRX40 may be up to 32 cores, while the TRX80 may be up to more, more than 32 cores. I'm not completely convinced on this because usually CPU cores, if the socket is good, CPU cores are independent. I'm not, I'm not convinced. But uh, what's very interesting is that the X40, they say, may be 4-channel memory, while the X80 may be 8-channel memory. 8-channel um, memory is huge. You know, uh, up to X299 is quad channel memory. Even the th LGA 3647 um, chipset C21, you know, the, the socket A large chips from uh, motherboards from Intel, that's only up to six channel memory. So if we indeed get an HETT part from AMD that has eight channel memory, that's leapfrogging what Intel has. And uh, if we have, you know, 64 PCIe lanes, that's still quite a bit more than what a Intel has. And, and as you can see here, the TRX80, um, as well as the WRX80, Tech Power Up is saying, might go head to head with the Intel C621, again, which is, the CPU for that is the W3175X, uh, the 28 core. So maybe it'll be a little bit more expensive and in the same price range as, uh, or at least in competition with the Intel's you know, Halo part. But it's very interesting that AMD is you know coming out with something like this. Additionally, there was an independent report reported to video cards that mentioned um, that Asus might be putting out a Asus Prime TRX40 Pro along with an ROG Strix TRX40E gaming. This kind of goes in, uh, layers in on top of the previous rumors where the TRX40 is kind of like the gaming, gaming end, uh, both you know, the Prime Pro along with the Strix gaming is kind of the lower end of uh, Asus's stack and you know, if we were to see a the Zenith or the Zenith Extreme or the you know the, the top end Asus boards, maybe we'll see the TRX80 version. And again, what's the difference between the 40 and 80? Maybe eight channel memory. And so basically, 
AMD is really, really putting the heat to Intel if this is what they're planning on doing because, you know, 32 cores, uh, if we do get a 64 core version of Threadripper, I'm not sure yet, but, you know, if, if AMD really pushes hard and, you know, launches a 64 core version of their Threadripper based off of Rome, it'd be very interesting to see how that stacks up with what Intel has. And, I would imagine Intel would have to lower their prices to be able to compete because, um, you know, I, I can understand maybe 32 cores versus 28 cores. Well, you say Intel the cores are a little have a little bit better IPC. They can still play on an even field, but 64 versus 28, we're, we're talking, you know, doubling the number of cores and then some. So. I'm holding my breath for this. This is maybe the first time I'm going to be going with a Threadripper CPU in a build. Um, and it's been a long time since I've had an AMD CPU in a computer. Um, my last one was like a X2 or like a Phenom. Anyway, I digress. I'm very interested to see what happens. We'll see you in the next one.